Umbote kembo kembo na tatanzambi ya mazulu Kifumu kia kuisa Ukisu ya mbote, welcome to another net teaching I don't want to play something, I don't own the rights to it once again And I don't have the um, uh, copyright So I'm not redistributing for, for any profit This is only for uh, the purpose of edification we're going to start this. I, I always keep forgetting to do this when I start, but I'm going to start this now that everything is okay with it. So here we go. Yeah. Mufasa. Mufasa is coming back. King Kong, Katanzambi and Kong. I hear it. The real lion is Simba. When I bear it, by you, the. Excuse me one moment. We ready, King Kong, Mufasa, the Tanzanian Twatulen. World is shaking, people. We honor you, Mbote Mbote. To my long way in the Siemi, New Siemi, Bayete, Bayete, Kembo, Hallelujah, the Tanzanian Pung Father, Ingeta, Ingeta, Amen. The Mwananzani, Manabelela, rising up, the kingdom of Congo, Hallelujah. People of Congo is, is roaring. Yeah, hey boy. Ufasa, Katanzambi is roaring. Oh, that's weird. This picture changed. Hallelujah. Kembo, Kembo. Natatan Zambi Yamazulu. Kukwisi Yambote once again. I don't know why that changed. I have to fix that. Yeah, I didn't know that reset itself, but whatever. Okay. Our praises. Once again, we come humbly before you, you as a watchman, a servant, a Sadi, of King Congo, Tatanzami, and Pungu. You know, still working on raising up the energy in this time because we know. A lot of things are happening to counter. That's why we're gonna go over this uh this this message is that there are still hyenas in the pride land or wolves in the wolves in the dens of the imposter. So we must be prepared 
to continue to be vigilant and to seek Captain Zombie in all spirit and strength to to expose many and more of this, the the brood of vipers, so that we will be able to navigate through the minefield of deception that has plagued this world for far too long. That the people still want to keep blowing themselves up on landmines. I try my try not to hit landmines. It's like, you know, like I say, we need the shepherds in this walk in this walk that are gonna take you through the minefield and clear it, but not be the ones that take you through the minefield and start to clear it and then let you blow up. And those are the higher when Isaiah talked about and from what we used to talked about the hirelings. He said, those are the ones that when the wolf would come, that they would let the sheep go get blown up and run away. And that's, he said, that's not the shepherd that we were supposed to have. The shepherds that we should have are those that are willing to sacrifice themselves for the sheep. And that's the whole concept of what Tata Zombie has tried to place upon this earth. And of course, the imposters have kind of modified this understanding. They have yoked, they have yoked everybody and everybody can be connected to the most high in the name of Jesus. But yet they don't read the Bible at all. It doesn't work like that. He said, you have to come through my people to get to me and to my father. And that's a reason for that. Okay. Why they why they altered this because the those who knew the agenda they were trying to you know they talk about the yoke it's called a, and I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna share the screen we're gonna get into the song here in a minute but um, first of all I want to say one of say mana mana vela mana say say mana vela na musari seto all praises what. Father, help with this message that would come, would wake up and continue to help our people. As more and more people start to understand this time, continue to fight against those who are continuing to break, want to, not want us to see us break free, and to help us to restore the knowledge and wisdom of the Pemba Kalunga back to this in Toto in a way that has been distorted by many to show them that they continue to sin, no matter how good they think they are, they're still breaking the law, statutes, and commandments, and they're causing more harm than good because of the descent of the deceivers. to the righteous of that surround Tatanzambi and Pungu. And the, uh, up in the high heavens of the seventh heaven and the eighth heaven, call upon you to be with us in the midst, all the way down to Adama, Mama Tata Adama Yakongo, Mama Eva Yakongo, and the righteous lineages through the Banabe to be solely in Geta. Hallelujah. Um, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, I've broken down much of what has happened over the last generations. Many people have also done the same, explaining to you why uh, the center, why they won't, why they don't want Africa to be the center, why they continue to uh, push the agenda that everything goes to Rome and the protest, the protest. Now, now they say the Protestants are in charge of the church and not Rome. And that's what they've been, been made to believe when Tatanzamia said everybody's wrong. You know, they say the, the Greeks with the Eastern Orthodox, they are supposed to be in charge of the church. And that's why when you look at somebody like Mayamona, Simantoku, who came, it was a threat because during that time, you know, there was a lot of racism. There was a lot of uh, hatred going on. 
and a lot of um, misrepresentation of the scriptures. And we're going to get into the reason why, because the wolves are always going to be knocking at your door to keep you from doing the way of the most high. Now, we're going to go back to when Rome was founded. And that time, uh, the Bantu people played a role in it, but they cut it out. The Greeks also, people don't understand, the Greeks think that they invented everything, but they had a help. They had help from Bantu people. Technically, Nimrod's Babylon, Bantu people were involved <laughs> even in the, the days of the flood before Bantu people were involved. And so the whole idea was to erase this lineage in this end times so that the world doesn't know how to connect, but to make you think that you do. Okay, that's why, like I said, they read you the Bible, you talk about the Bible, but to be like Isaiah, that's a whole other story. They want you to focus, and see, that's where that one Messiah mentality comes from the sorcerer and, of course, the imposter. He was the imposter before that because there could only be one king one ruler that you were supposed to acknowledge at the time, and that, of course, is the, the one-eyed pirate, Nimrod, who was really the spiritual seed of Cain. And so that's why the scriptures and the way the world is being taught, first of all, they're being taught this one Messiah. Then they get taught the Messiah never came. Then they got taught there's... The, the creator has no sons, but Muhammad is the prophet, okay? The the concept of this whole belief, the system, this whole concept is was designed to create confusion about the Most High's way. And we'll get into this about how uh, you were meant to never know it. That was the agenda. Because... The deception is always, we're going to go back to what happened in Kemet, in, in Gipiti between the Pharaoh and Moses. Okay, you have to understand that Christianity's this interpretation of the wicked is completely flawed because it's not like the people, they always, the enemy of this world will always want to challenge, challenge a messenger that the Most High says, always. They always want to challenge that person. Everything's about challenge, okay? Because their mindset is this world belongs to the hands of the wicked and it needs to stay that way. So we're going to challenge anyone that wants to put it back. That's why you don't know about the first woman in the Bible that's why you don't know the full story about the watchers. That's why you go and talk to a Roman priest. They'll say these, these, oh, they don't they didn't exist, but yet they put it in the Bible. It's like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> okay. That's why you go to uh various people about the scriptures. They can't answer your question. Oh, but I know Jesus. Okay. Or I know Allah, or I know this, or whatever, or Buddha, or whatever. Okay. And that's the thing that that um was the whole design was to keep you yoked to unbelievers and to put the yoke back on that was supposed to be lifted when you follow the way of the Most High. Because when you follow the way of the Most High, the yoke is lifted, the binding is gone. But when you don't follow the way of the Most High, you are yoked. You are bound. You are re reattached, and this is what people don't understand about deception of the of the fallen ones. Okay, so let me play the song again. I don't own the rights. Uh, the song is for edification only and to lift up our people, and I don't and I'm not for reselling of any kind.
Zambe, the Almighty is good. The Almighty of us. Zambe now be so the way yeah, of Zambe. Isaele, not Israel. He says it right there. Isaele. The name Israel comes from Esau. The, the name Yahubi used was Isaele, Isolele. That Jacob was Israeli. You say Israelites now if you want, but you know. Young Bote is good. Bote, Young Bote. The Filipinos knew it. Mabuti. <laughs> they, they, they already knew, but they had to change it up for the mixture. The Filipinos are, by, are, are the more side chosen descendants too. More, many of them, <laughs> they over there with. That's why they know the Black Jesus. <laughs> they don't. They, they always do the Black Jesus. Of course, there's a good and a bad. Oh, you praises to the king. Yes, Yes, See, yes, is without the H for Yeshua. <laughs> it's a yes, you see? That's the Baptist word, yes, son. They put the H in there. Yes, It wasn't no Yeshua, yes, Yeshua, yes, That's how they change it. They put the H in there for Yeshua, which is what the Kazar said, because they were speaking the Aramaic. When we were speaking the Kikon, we said Yeshua. Yeshua, not Yeshua. Matuzola, not Matuzo, Matuzo. Panoka, not Enoch. Noka, Noah. Ingeta, Ingeta, Nino. Bote, Bote. Oh, 
This is the fact that we already knew how to praise the Most High before Rome even showed up. Because we were running from Rome anyway the whole time. And the other and the other churches that have been corrupted by the false Messiah spirit. And then the, the false Messiah spirit found us in the kingdom of Congo and caused us to argue against the Nazambi once again. And then, there we go, off again. Back to Baal. And that's what the world don't understand. We already had the real Messiah. We didn't need Jesus. We had him from Yusuf. And they had the imposter Nimrod. That's what they don't understand. But then they'll say, oh, no, no, no. I know Jesus. I know God. I know the Lord. Yep, that's how it goes. You know, that's how it was so easy for those who are not chosen or supposed to think they are chosen to be deceived and they can do operate on that mindset all the time. See, back in the day, you had to be careful and you speak with fear. You don't want to talk about this stuff and people are still intimidated. And those who know what happened, they're going to keep you down. Jeremiah uh, 16, 19 is increasing. You have inherited lies from your forefathers. The million sixteen like me. That's what people are finding out. The million sixteen ninety. You have inherited lies from your forefathers.
Campbell, Campbell, once again, Mbote, uh, once again, I honor all of you who are Banabetu scattered across the earth, who are coming back to the way of the Mosai to Tanzambi. I honor all of you who are non Banabetu who have tuned in to listen, and Baklistu, uh, who continue to re keep yourself connected to Kuswa Kongo and Fumuyisu. So, the scripture we're going to talk about, but well, first of all, we're going to talk about being yoked. Okay, being yoked. Share my screen. Bring in the information. Because, see, what the world has failed to understand is nobody, all of the civilizations that rose up on this earth would not recognize Tatanzambi for who he is. And they would um, battle against him. Okay. So we have Bangu and King Gonga. See, King Gonga, that's why your yoke wants to be with Konga and not with Baal. So when we go back, when it says, uh, we're going to read, when he says, take my yoke. So that's the whole concept when he says, take my yoke. The yoke you're supposed to be taking is the way of truth, not the way of bondage. So, Benavaka Kilo Namono, na Benonata Yo. Benovanda, Balonguki na mono sambu mono kelele muntu, ya pima mono kele muntu, ya ntima ya mbote, ya mbote, good, ebuna beno ta zaba kupema, and you will find the refreshment for your souls, okay? Take my yoke, and you learn from me, for I am male tempered and lowly in heart, and you will find refreshment on your soul. So this, this is how they were. So it's coming from, of course, I'm using, because I know Simon Toko did it too. He encountered the Jehovah with, 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 Witnesses, but they still have the, a deceiver upon them because that's why they got in trouble for even talking about him to the other. That's what really got them blackballed because they tried to put his video him in New York and they said, you cannot talk about this guy. And, you know, that's the reason being is because Unlike the civil rights leaders, everything was about black and white. Kimbangu and Toko, their issue was they were taking it to back to the original, which is what the, the colonizers didn't want. So when you look at all the things that was happening to black people in America from the 1900s uh, forward, when they saw when were colored and all that, they don't understand that the Most High did send a, thank you. The North Side did send help. The problem was the Christian world has been deceived about how the Most High fights, about how it works, and how the devil's kingdom operates. Okay. Now, nothing can beat the Most High ever. But because he had turned the world over to the hands of the wicked, and this was the deception that people didn't know that it was always taken as a an act of, um, of um, interference on behalf of the dragon whenever Tatanzami would send these messiah-like figures to put the put to lay back the law and to straight the way. Because they didn't say that when the world would come to its end, that the 12 kingdoms or the tribes of Bantu people would be scattered again. They just, they taught it as if the church was to take over the Most High's way and teach it and flourish the people in the direction. But of course, they corrupted it. And the reason why we know that is because the world if you see it right now, like I said, if Christianity was indeed the way to the Most High, he would be back here. We would be ruling, 
the kingdoms would be in order, there would be no war, and you would be in control of Jerusalem. 100%. No other belief in intact. In, in okay? There would be no none of this stuff about dealing with Biden and Trump and Putin and all this, uh, and uh, uh, I don't know if it's Bor yeah, Bor and, uh, Netanyahu and all this other stuff going on. It can't be because your way would be pure to the most high. So you would control the system. Period. Okay. That's how people don't get that how you are yoked has an effect. Now, I'm going to read the the Matthew seven, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna really get it clear because I had this conversation with an individual on messengers about judging. Okay, because every every place you go has a court of some kind. The Most High had a court. Okay. We had a way to judge people. Isaiah was trying to give people an understanding of how judgments are supposed to be done. But the point was, um, the concept of this world is recognizing the authority versus not recognizing the authority. Okay? So going back to Ingipity, now remember, Pharaoh, contrary to what the historians want to tell you, Ramses II was a black man. Okay. Uh, Mosi was a Muntu, black Bantu. Okay. The you know, the whole concept of why they want to continue to paint this discrepancy is because then they don't want to ever admit the Egyptians were black. Because if they admit the Egyptians were black, then they have to say the, the Hebrews were black. Then you have to say, well, then Jesus was black. And then you have to say, well, then God is black. Because he said, I came and I, I said, you see me, you see the father. Then you have to admit Adam and Eve was black. Then you have to admit, you know, you have to do all of these different things that changes the whole concept of how you have interpreted the scriptures. Okay. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say, well, yeah, white, that means white people are evil because not all of them really are. It's just that they have evil minded leaders who have misled them. And that's the issue. Because I know that there are people who want to know the truth that are white. That's why Toko said, I'm not here to expel them. Maybe they want to learn too. Okay. And that's kind of what, um, they were upset about the same thing with Isaiah when he came back and Rome was still occupying uh, Salem, okay? Aren't you here to expel these people? He said, my job is to just teach the way and get the Most High's way back on track for his people from those who have corrupted it. And see, this is the whole idea. The Most High... His earth is always being knocked off track by the devil. So he's always going to send somebody to put it back on the track. Okay? So you, the, the devil, the whole concept of what happened in the garden was to take the creator's way and beeline it this way and not keep it straight. Okay? So, the, so anybody who comes to re- align the way is a messiah because all it means is a say a, a person who's leading to you to salvation is putting you back on track but there is always going to be the one who was homicidal because he was trying to start it from the beginning with the garden and the tree of life Yalankuru, okay and he was connected to adama in spirit Ngonga, the word, okay? What happened is when Shaitani said, I am not going to accept, because he was the first Maliki and he was a black Maliki, okay? I am not going to accept this image even though he was looking at himself in the mirror. How stupid is this? Okay, dude. 
You're not going to accept this image, but he looked like you. Hello? <laughs> okay? What kind of stupidness is that? But, okay, we know <laughs> the world has to do the world's my idea. The world has to go. It's like, well, you knucklehead, you're made in the most highest image too. Why would you not accept yourself in that image? Because he's made of flesh. He's made of the ground. Which he did not understand, that was to keep order on the creation. Keep things in order. The animals, the everything, have the, you know, keep things. The Most High's presence is among his creation, walking with the animals. That was the whole concept. To keep the, the creation in order. Okay? Because nobody was good but the Most High. So the animals, they act by instinct. They're going to do what they want. You got to you got to keep them in check. Okay? The, earth, the creation, whatever, has to stay in, in unison. So the Most High spit, the, 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 the Adama being there was to do that. Okay? Now, of course, there would be he the most high wanted people involved because he made the creation for a righteous priesthood that would always rule okay what shaitani was like i don't agree there's something i don't you your way of thinking is flawed is basically what he's telling him now <laughs> that's the whole concept of disobedience to tell the one who created whose idea it was now nah, your this idea is flawed now think about that you're a person you have this idea and to you it looks perfect and then somebody comes and tells you no nah, that's not going to work how so what makes you so what makes you so sure but then i'm I, if you're not on board with this then you go do your thing and I'll do my thing, which is essentially what was done. So the devil said, okay, so then I'll put my kingdom against yours and we're going to see whose kingdom is best. Who can do better? Anything you can do, I can do better. That's where it comes from, okay? So he goes and he puts his kingdom against the most high. I will set my kingdom above yours and whatever. But the deception is you think he didn't do that. He's down in the dirt or underground um, in the fire pit, whatever, walking in the coals only. When the, even the scriptures say he walks to and fro in the earth. Hello? Okay? It even says he is the prince of the air. Okay? This is how he has put people to sleep. So now his way is always going to contradict the most highs way always now when you look at the days of noca it wasn't like when cain disobeyed the most high that he just all of a sudden just like his his lineage didn't do nothing but obey the Most High from there. No. They did the complete, they did everything. They became connected to the wicked first woman who they lied about. He became connected to the gods that they created. And what they, and then of course, the devil's job was to pervert the union of between Adama and the real woman, Eva, because they did not want that kingdom to flourish any longer they wanted to keep uh, the 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 12 kingdoms that was to come that he knew because like i said the devil works in foresight not hindsight he don't always see what the most high is going to do because the most high has all power but he wanted to make sure this doesn't happen and i my kingdom never goes away and yours does. I'm going to show you I can make your kingdom go away and mine will stay. But the problem is 
This is foolish thinking because he can't do anything to the creator other than to make him feel angry about the things he does. Okay? Because the most, he has nothing to do with him. Because he can't, he's the creation. This is the creator. You can't stop him. But you're going to always think you can, right? So now, his, his beef is with the creation. That to show I can do better than you. This is why when they competed. So then anything that Adama did from that point on had to be messed up or piss him or tick him off. And so the goal, the goal was it turned into a game between him and the Most High. Who is better? And the Most High will always triumph every time because he's never, he's never going to fail. Okay. So now the whole idea was the most is gonna go forward and do his thing, and the devil's trying to knock it off the track and then put it where he wants. Knock it off the track, put it where he wants. Okay. And then the most I come, no, I'm putting it right back. You can't stop me. Okay. And this is the battle that continues to wage in the heavens, in the Pema Kalunga, between the Maliki Congo, between the Mosai and, and Shaitani. But no one can knock the king off his throne, which is like I said, the, you know, Shaitani, there's always people trying to knock him off and take over, but he's like, I'm, you can't take my spot. But then the Mosai is saying, nobody, the, 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 his kingdom, they recognize he sits there and nobody's going to touch that spot. So you always stay under him. Okay? Well, in the historical deception, there was a righteous lineage that was set up before the flood. After the fall in the garden to get things back on track. But then there was a system created to pervert everything but make it look still look like it's good because you can't because humanity was aware of the most high and they were aware of the devil and the devil had to do his job to convince you he was better so he had to pretend to be good while he's really bad okay now In order for his kingdom to flourish, you have to pay attention to it. Because if you don't, if it don't exist to you, then he doesn't overcome you. That is what the rule that was given to Abana, Abraham, when dealing with that particular spirit, don't interact or he controls you. Don't acknowledge his, his kingdom. Only focus on the most high. Which is the same thing that Isaiah was trying to tell, tell our, our people understand. So what has happened over the years, we come to the trickery of the seed of Sethu, who goes down and starts inter intermixing. Of course, there were certain people who did and some that didn't. Okay? That resulted in a mess that the most I had to clean up. Okay, I can't have this like this no more. I got to get it back on track, so I got to erase it. Well, what that does, the, 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 is, because the most high's will is always going to happen, this angers the kingdom of, Shita of that kingdom and says, how dare you do this to me? So, of course, Afterwards, he comes back and pushes the agenda to bring everything back. No, I'm going to put it back and I'm going to make it better. That's why the Christian says, I tear down, they keep building back up. And they keep building it back up better. And that's why they get to say, they get that whole sense, 
This is when they say, we will never be, you'll hear how, you'll hear how they talk. You know that they're talking about Satan because he says, we will never be defeated. We will always come back stronger. We will always be better than before. That's the way you know these leaders are talking to Satan. That's how you know. That's the key right there. Because that means they know the Most High did something and they're going to try to put it back better. Okay? But in that process, they also going to make him pay for his interference. This is the recompense that he talks about in yo. You're going to recompense me? I'm going to recompense you back and come swift. Okay? So now we go to Engipity, where the 12 tribes were set up. The devil's concept was, I am going to make you guys jealous. Because remember now, he tried to kill Abana with Nimrod, couldn't do it. He tried to kill Nsaka or, or trick Nsaka and Ivana at the same time, not to obey the Most High when the Most High asked him to do something. He then tried to get Ishmael to be jealous and try to kill Nsaka. Okay? This is what we're trying to tell people. You got the whole world wrong. Okay? It's always a challenge like they mocked it in the Lion King. That's why he said, I would never challenge you. You know, I'm... The but my brains are smarter than yours. The Most High is like, no, it was never like that. It's just the fact that the Most High knew these things were going to happen. So basically, when they talk about him dying, it's like making him, him dead to his people. So that was always the agenda. The, 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 the wicked kingdom wants to make his children dead to him. You are dead to me because you what? Disobey. I turn my back. No, don't you turn my back on me, Scar. Oh, you Bill Fossey, you better not turn your back on me. No, the most I knew that them, what they were going to, what he was going to do. Because he allows these things. The, the, remember, wicked and evil come from him, but he is all good. That's why the world don't understand. The, the most I does things to destroy you too. That's why, is that what people are saying? How else do you die? Oh, everything is just you die naturally, whatever, or it's just a part of life. No, there's things involved in it spiritually, okay? Excuse me. So now you have a civilization that's learning knowledge carnally, but also in a spiritual sense of sorcery. Everything is power with sorcery. But at the same time, to control you, the knowledge is carnal. But thinking that you're spirit, this is always how it was. Okay? To control people, you have to control what they think while you have the knowledge. It's always like that. Okay? That's what made these people gods, these, these gods among men. We, more, we got more knowledge than you. You're going to look up to us. You're going to worship us, blah, 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 blah. Okay? But the way that we were being taught was always wrong, even though they thought it was right. Okay? So now, when we talk about Tatanzami and Pungu, his knowledge is always perfect, good. Everything is righteous. Nothing about him is dark. Okay? So when he comes out, because that's why I said the world has it backwards. The Bantu people were the ones who were not the pagan worshipers. Everybody else was. Everybody else was. But they have flipped it. Okay? So the Bakongo Benanzami Bena Isolide, we did not worship pagan gods unless we break them, unless we were tricked into doing so. So that's what happened now. We go down to Ingipiti. We interact with these people who technically knew the Most High's way. But they were not following it the way until Yosef you started to rule in, in Gipiti. But they still hung on to whatever idols that they learned that were built in Babylon. Because remember, Nimrod controlled all the kingdoms. He took them all over from the other princes to build that tower 
because his mother wanted him to stop the Most High from doing the mission he was to do, which he was supposed to help bring order back, and he got flipped and stayed, but he was not going to do it anyway. The Most High used him, but the Most High said, he ain't going to follow me, you're going to turn on me. I already know. Okay, but the Most High has all control. But he wanted to then at that point show, because that's the that's the whole core that the, the, the devil's going to show you, no, this is going to be my son, and he going to turn against you and try to take you down. Challenge. Always the challenge. Okay? So now in Gippity, these gods show up after the mortal gods version of themselves are killed. People don't understand they didn't show up till then. So they were being worshipped in Ingipiti in principle. Now they're going to be worshipped on a regular basis. When Yosefu dies, Nimrod's gone, Tammuz is dead. Later on, Esau, who led a charge against uh, led a charge against he could, the Edomites actually went against the Egyptians with Esau at the front. This is what they don't tell you. When Yokubi died, that's when he got killed, and then he joins the 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 the, the um he joins the 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 gods, and then here's when the stories start to unfold about how these gods came to be in control of Egypt. Because see, there's always been a spirit in control of everything on the earth. There's always gods responsible for different things. The problem is the good gods would say, you don't do anything. We, we do everything for King Kong. So he is your God. But we are also honored among him. So we spoke to them. We were in Basi, we interacted with them, we had ancestry, and we learned from them. So they were like Messiah. Okay. But we, Banabetu, were supposed to be above them. So we become like Messiah. This is what the world doesn't get. The issue was when the law would come, because like Mosi, okay, he was a Messiah. Okay, but he disobeyed the Most High. First, he started off because he was an Egyptian. He was an Egyptian. He was doing pagan. So he had to go get cleaned up. That's why he went out after he found out who he was. He killed the man. He took off. Okay, the Most High goes and cleans him up. He comes back. I'm the Most High in spirit. See me here, Pharaoh? The Pharaoh said, who? <laughs> who is this? This is where people don't get it. Okay? So the Pharaoh at that time, he is Satan in spirit. Telling him, we don't recognize this God. We don't recognize him at all. So, oh, you know how people say nowadays, kick rocks, dude. Peace out. He said, no, he's upset. He wants you to let the Banabe to go. I'm not doing none of that. What are you talking about? Well, I'm going to show you the most size power. Watch, they're going to do this. Boom. Okay. Now, of course, they had their sorcery. They had their fortune tellers. They had their oracles. And they said, oh, hey, you see, we could do that too. But of course, this was also part of our prophecy that they were made aware of, that he would show up to do this. But the, quick, the thing I understand is, they didn't just do what the Most High wanted. Pay attention to that. This is where Christianity needs to wake up with their pastors lying to them. Just because the Most High said it, that doesn't mean they said cool in the gang. Right, just go home, bye, see ya. No, they said, what? Nah, we're gonna, no. What? This is our, these people making us money because like, they understood even then disobedience into the most high means we get money from these people okay and their blessings come our way they already knew that from abana blessing i bless those i bless those i curse those i curse you 
So once again, we're cursing ourselves and they're getting the blessing and they the, the devil's pain. Remember, Egypt was rich with gold and everything. This is where you got to get the idea that you're back in this system again and you don't even see it. They were paid for breaking the laws. Huge, big money, big, big palaces, everything. That's why they said, no, nah, brother, we ain't letting nobody to go. This is the cash cow. That's why they, they knew, and they were worshiping that holy cow even then, okay? And they were like, we ain't not letting nobody go. You crazy. So he said, okay, here's what's going to happen. And the most high would come back, okay? And then he started doing these, what? Plagues, okay? Now, here's where you got to get this. It took them all the way to what? I'm going to kill your children. After he said it with his own mouth. And King Congo was like, okay, you done, you done put the judgment on yourself. Now, remember, all of this stuff that the Mosai has done to these nations is piling up over the generations. The, the Jebusites, the Edomite, all these other nations he destroyed, they're still worshiping Satan in just different ways, many different names. Okay? Because the devil will always keep himself a secret because he don't want people to catch on with all the same gods. Okay? So they keep changing it up on them. The Most High says, I don't change. I stay the same. This is how you know if things started changing like happened in the church, Satan was involved. That's why Daniel said he will change times and laws and seasons. Okay? So to fear the Most High means, see, and this is how you know, the Pharaoh and the Egyptians, they did not fear Tatan Zombie or they would have put us where we belong, on top. So they were like, no, we are gods here. Who are you? People don't get this, okay? So when you say African spirituality, you got to make sure you're on the most Tatan Zombies spirituality and not the other gods. Because see, people don't know that Catholicism, and this is where you keep getting lied to by people who are teaching you these things. All Rome is, is Egypt, Practicing the Most High's way wrong. That's it. They're pretending to be, now instead of saying we don't know this God, they're pretending to be him and they still don't know this God. And we're going to go back, we're going to get to that. So the concept is diversion. Diversionary tactics that the world has been exposed to as imposters, then that's why they're going to use the bait. I'm going to talk about bait here in a minute. So now, when it talks about what Isaiah is saying, he says, um, do not judge, you will be judged. Okay? He's meaning in the con that, that, that now go understand this. Why? You have to go to the priest to get confirmation of whatever miracle he did, right? To validate it. Because that's what the priesthood was for. But they were hypocrites. Because the conversion, when we went and went among the Greeks, which was a mistake again, it allowed foreign doctrine, doctrines to, enter, to pervert the law. All because of what Solomon did. Okay? For what manner of judgment you shall also be judged, and by your standard of measure you shall also be measured. When, and this is in they keep moving things around, you are impure. That's why he says, what do you focus the piece of straw in your brother's eye, but then notice the log in your own? So it's like I told you, if I'm going to sit there and start talking about somebody, I better make sure that my house is in order. 
that I don't have nothing wrong with me, that there's no issues here. The Most High says I'm clean, or else you're going to have a problem with the Most High. Okay, that's the whole purpose. See, and they, this is where people say, "Oh, well, the scriptures all contradict." Yeah, because they change things from the Kikongo to whatever, so you don't understand them right. That's why he would say, if you didn't judge, then why do you go to your brother in secret to talk about something they did? He did say that. Okay? So what he was saying is, he said, that's why he said, let me, let me pull out the piece of straw out of your eye while there is a log in your own. Don't be a hypocrite. So he's saying, if you are going to go talk to somebody about a problem that they have, you can't be hypocritical. Like, see, for me, I can't tell nobody anything out here what they should and shouldn't do. I can only talk about what the Most High asks us to do. Because I know there's, there's stuff that I'm dealing with that has to be pulled out. Okay? So, therefore, it's more like don't be like me, be like what the Most High said, or be do the Most High way and try to walk, not to do the way the devil, okay? But I'm not going to sit there and say, man, you shouldn't be doing that to your wife and this and this and that. But what you doing to your wife? Hello? I see it. We're going to get to Psalms in a minute, okay? First, go get the log out of your own eye. That means clean up. Clean up first, and then go talk to the people. I, I took my soap bath. I, you know, I prayed over my soap. I cleansed myself today. I prayed. Okay. The, the soap was cleansing. Okay, now clean up. Let me talk to you. Okay. Then you see clearly enough to pull out the piece of straw from your brother's eye, meaning that you have to deal with your problems before you can go deal with somebody else's. That's why... Many people don't even know that this is what we talk about, wolves in sheep's clothing. The wolves in sheep's clothing are telling you, we are fine. There's nothing wrong with us. When really they are so dirty that they're stinking to the core, rotten, wicked. And this is what was going on at the time with this, with the, with the people who were over the bounty people. It was like they they were so stinking hypocritic bad that they could not be in a position to judge anybody, and that's why they wanted to get rid of him because he was pointing it out. He had the authority to come and show them that you were stinking bad, and they didn't like that. But see, the problem was. They didn't want the moon to to clean up. And see, you can tell that they spit in Tatanzambi's face because when they took him before Pilate, now remember, if Rome ever feared the Most High, they would have put the moon to where he belongs and she belongs from the beginning of the occupation. They never feared. They were always worshiping Satani. And their authority, remember, they controlled us at that time, the Muntu and the player world, the Khazars and everybody. It's like they were worshiping J-U-P, okay. They were worshiping the Anunnaki. They were worshiping the Watchers at that time. Same gods. So they did not fear Tatanzambi. No way. Because they said Rome's authority supplants you, Banabetu, Hebrews. We got we're gonna make you play tax. You see, you even see now the census, or when they go to pay, when they used to make your report so you could pay taxes, you see what the similarity this is what the, that's what the census is really is. They determine how much tax you're gonna pay. Okay, they're doing it again. This is how you know you're back in Rome, people. <laughs> they're doing it again. They tricked you. That's what the census is for. Okay? They're doing the repeat. You are a Roman. 
Okay. <laughs> so you can say I'm a United States citizen, I'm a British citizen, or whatever. Whatever. Rome still got you in the check, yoked up, yoked. Okay? You yoked to them. They're not doing the most high way. They never feared him. No. Okay? So now, he talks about not giving what's holy unto dogs or pearl unto swine. Now, I went over a video that talked about there's an affiliation with that because Nimrod was called a dog and his son was called a pig because it was connected to what happened when they were calling themselves messiahs. Okay? So he's saying people who think like animals, which is why uh, if you go to the Barnabas scripture, he talked about when they ate the tree of knowledge of good and evil, it make you reprobate minded like an animal. That's why you think more like an animal than like the most high, even though you're supposed to be dominion. And that's why when you look at when the most high casted out Cain, and then he did the same thing later on with the other tribes, okay, they became primal. We could call it primal, meaning they became instinctive like the animals. They started thinking. That's why they began to worship animal heads and animal gods and make animal. And that's why Tatan Zombie said, people who do that will always be doing wickedness. I send that evil upon you. That's why you started having people pretending to be, because see, the male, this is when the nature really started to get out of balance. But they knew that the male animals would dominate to make a weaker male. Okay? So that they knew that I'm the one that has the right to go and mess with all these other women and you don't. So get away from my women. Well, they incorporated these behaviors into human attitude. Okay? Doing things, sleeping with relatives, what, okay. All that was put here. So this is where, and then, because their gods required sacrifice because of the Most High killing their kids, he gonna kill your kids. That's where they started taking Noah's children and beginning to sacrifice them to them. Okay? That's where it started. So what he's saying is, and that's going to show you, they don't fear the Most High. Or they wouldn't be doing these things. Now, they do fear him when he comes with his power, of course. They don't. They fear his presence when they go and he, you know, they'll make him shake and tremble because they know but they're going to always challenge him, even though he's going to beat them down. Always. Okay? So now, whenever he sends, like, the rain, the wind, the thunder, the hail, the snow, whatever, they're going to always blow it off like, oh, we can just work around it. That's why they made all these, like I said, they made snow plows. They made, they, they made fun of it. They, they know what's happening to you. You're getting judged with snow, hail, rain, fire, all this other stuff. So they find ways to go around it while telling you, in the name of Jesus, go pray to God when he is judging you because you have it all wrong, okay? So now the problem is we didn't obey that once we went over to Rome. They got the pearls in the swine and that's why they came and jacked up the kingdom of Congo every time. Okay? <laughs> Busted it up. But see, in the case of what happened with the Salamans, he sent them to do this because of all the wickedness. He said, that's why Titus said, we didn't do this by ourselves. We had help from a God. Okay? This is how you know the so-called people can't claim the most high because Tatanzambi knew who they were and he only recognized the ones with the in their heart and he made them pay for listening to these he, to these people because of what they did see because if the sanhedrin had feared tatanzambi 
they would not have crucified Isaiah. No way. That's why he said, you see me? It said, as he said, obviously you don't know me, then you would know the one who sent me. They didn't know him. That's why when they go to Caesar, they said, we recognize no king but Caesar. And you had Herod sitting there. So they didn't even recognize Herod. Boom! That's going to be the thing that you got to understand. Herod was a puppet. Didn't even recognize him. So they only recognized Caesar, which came from the name we gave him for Kuswa. That's some people understand. So we, we recognize Caesar. We don't recognize this God. Boom! So that means their God is also what? Jupiter. So they don't know Tatanzani. Okay? So now at this time, he says, he talks about requests and you receive. He says, he said, knocking, so he, see, actually, he said, for everyone who asks, you receive, and one who seeks will find, and the, and the one who knocks will be open. So the Most High will, you, he will talk to you. Like, actually talk to you. Not just sitting there praying and wait, 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 wait. You're going to get responses. I, I'm going to tell you. There's things I learned. It's like, okay, I need to stop. I need to do this better. Right away, you can, you can get chastised quick, people. Okay? Oh, it says here, I'm, I'm reading the lost gospels because I know the King James and all these other gospels are a little bit more twisted than this version, even though it's still probably be a little bit twisted, okay? But it's given it more plainly, where it talks about, oh, see, the problem is when he said knock, we knew how to knock. We've been taught. Seven, seven that's the mosaic of seven threes, whatever. Okay, we've been taught this by people who know that what's going on, some a lot of things, who know the truth. Now, knocking means you are identified. And this is why you would say, I am so and so from the tribe of so and so, blah, 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 but descendant of so and so. There's no Christian that know how to say that because they don't come from no tribe. So he's looking at you like, what tribe do you come from? I don't know you. Because we would say that when we called on him. The, the, that was the Bante Bendwe. That's the whole reason why it was important to change the way we prayed so that we would become unrecognizable. Okay. But give him a, it says here, or, we, or, how, or who, would any one of you give a stone to your son for who requests bread? You want to know? They did this to us. They gave us, <laughs> man, they did us dirty. I'm telling you. They did stuff to us. It's like, oh, you want a fish? Here, here's a snake. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? I'm hungry. Oh, well, eat eat rocks. Literally. Then if you're being self-centered, then if you being self-centered know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more can your creator in the spiritual realm give good things to those who ask him? This is why the religion of Christianity is a pagan religion. Because the way that they do it is exactly the way they did it in the pagan world. You get what you ask for based upon how you deserve it, whether or what you deserve. So basically, you can tell it's a false spirit because they base it off on giving and taking, right? If you didn't give them enough, they're going to give you very little. I've seen churches, people can tell you, I'm telling you right now, I have seen churches run like this. They will favor the people who come with the big wallets. Phew! 
Here's a million dollars. Oh, thank you. Okay. Y'all can call out the pastor. I know this. But you come with your little $5 and $10. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Attitude, right? Sometimes. But they can't be going to see it. Because that's that spirit. The sorcerer and his mentality was, I want to get paid. Then I will show you what I want, what I do. That's why he come and do the step right up, step right up. Let me show you how I do this. Hey, put some money in the thing. Let's go. All right, let me show you my miracles here. He was a showman. This is where the circus gets it from. Oh, yeah, because they would do the same thing. But, as a matter of fact, the person even showed me. I found out, like I said, that song that they do for the circus. Was when the was for when the um uh what do you call them the gladiators would come into the ring. Yeah, found that out. Okay, so you had the the showman step right up, step right up, hurry, hurry, come on and see. We're gonna battle today. Some mutus are gonna be eating up for some tigers. Yeah, they did that. Okay. Dumbana, okay, so he was like that kind of a person. I'm here to do a, a showman here, okay? So now, um, the whole concept behind the religion concepts of the Roman Empire is based on how much do you give us? This is their whole system, by the way, at that time, because that's what the gods did. That's why they would argue, man, they, they throw the wishing well, they did all this stuff, the Greeks and everything. I got to pay my homage to, well, how much am I going to give? The, the wealthy gave, had more. We were locked up. Now think about it. These kingdoms were worshiping the devil. And they were wealthy, paid, rich. Okay? So people got to get it out of their head that the Most High is all about how much you're going to give me. When Isaiah even said, the woman who gave the least, the Most High going to give the most. Look, see? All that she had, he going he gonna to give it to her. Because he values, he's always among the poor. Okay? That's why he encouraged us to give more than we take when it comes to our people. But we got stingy because of false spirits. Jealousy always did that. Okay? And how we had rules to treat the, you know, like you said, we had servants. We did. Okay? You don't mistreat the people because that's what was going on among the heathen, whooping their path. That's how you know it was paganism and Satanism in the in the slave trade. They were whooping and okay, and reading the Bible at the same time, knowing that they were misusing it. Okay. Thus, anything you would prefer a person does for you, you should also do for them. For this sums up the scripture and her prophets. Yeah, giving and taking. We talk about this. Other people have talked about it too. The Most High loves a cheerful giver. Now, what they did in the churches is they turned it into a money game. Just like dun, 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 everything's a show. That's why you have to have a very charismatic speaker that grabs your attention. That's why you have to have very good music that can get you moving and dancing. It's all a hook. Okay? Because their concept of the fishers of men is the D-A-G-O-N God. Because his goal is to hook you and clean you and fry you. I was talking to somebody, now you see why they go to fish fry. 
and say, look, this is think about this. Where did the fish fry come from? Because see, their mentality from the rich is we hooking and cleaning fish and frying them, slowly turning up the heat in the skillet because you are yoked to the false messiah. Okay? So it's not about salvation. It's about turning you into a donkey with no brain. That's why I say, I told, the, I, told I posted on Twitter, I said, it's not that I'm crazy or that we're crazy. It's that we realize our brains got stolen by somebody else and those who helped them, and we got it back through the most high, waking us up. Hey, all these people run around here with brain stolen by the Riddler. Riddle me this, riddle me that. He's just mocking the course Isaiah speaking in parable. <laughs> yeah. The Riddler's a shaitani behind. Okay. Enter through the narrow gate. The wide is the gate, broader path that leads to destruction. Definitely. And many of those who went enter through it, a lot of people, <laughs> you don't even know. For the gate is small and the path that leads to life is narrow and not many will find it. So you cannot have these billions and billions of people saying, I know Jesus, I know God. When it says not many will find a way, when they mocked it in, uh, how, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Alice in Wonderland, you see the dog was sweeping the path that she was on, represented the dog God, by the way, removing the way out of the Wonderland and the land of chaos and, and ups, everything's upside down. That's what they were telling you. We, you're upside down and we took the path away on how to get out and you're in the queen of hearts now off with their heads and the deposed king because that was representing that everybody's crazy crazy but the world is supposed to be right that was showing you who runs the world by the way because Walt Disney was a sorcerer big time Sadly, I know a relative of his, and she probably don't want me to say that, but the problem is uh, somebody even showed me that when you when you do the mirror of Mickey Mouse or Mickey, it says wicked in the um in the reflection of the mirror. Okay. You shall know them by their fruits. Do people gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? As such, every good tree bears good fruit, but a diseased tree bears wicked fruit. A diseased tree bears wicked fruit. Now, how do you know the Gentiles or the Roman or the Europeans were bearing bad fruit? Because they were always sick, looking for healing. So they can't bear good fruit. That's why Kuswa Kongo was like, hey, look, only people who have the most high's healing and wellness can bear good fruit. Only those who know how to go to the most high and ask for healing the right way and be removed of wicked things. Okay. This is what you have to be careful of the people who are not trying to get rid of their disease. There's a difference. We are trying to shake off Babylon. They are not. They want to stay sick, but they don't know they're sick. That's the issue. You want to know how you know you're sick? Go look at your doctor bill. How many times? How many people are sitting there in medical debt? I can relate. Even my, I went to go see. I did something today. What he said, Amer the American diet, oh yeah, okay, we don't understand this. You don't pay attention. <laughs> the people who, I watched the video, I shared it, okay, on Twitter, I might, I might, if I was going to put it here, I'll let you know. They were, it was the Europeans doing an investigation to who was 
it was or they were talking about organized crime and the fake food industry. What are you eating? They were, they were looking into all this stuff and they made it think it was just their area. And then they said, no, this is a global phenomenon. It's not just us. So it ain't like they didn't know people. Okay. As such, so what I'm trying to say is the these would be hyenas because he would have been talking about, he'd been an embo talking. He was talking about hyenas. That's why they put him in the Lion King. But wolves, they had African wolves too, because they had jackals. Anything that was like a, a thief, fox, whatever, lines up in this thing. Anybody trying to steal your power is a wolf. Okay? As such, every good tree bears good fruit. A good tree doesn't bear wicked fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. That's why in religion, which means to bind again, you can never unyoke yourself unless you know the way of the Most High. Okay? This is why you know your world leaders are bad fruit. Because why do they have to lie to you in order to get you to trust them? Which they always doing. And what are they always trying to get? Your support. We are supporting diseased fruit. They know. The problem is people have been made to think that the Pope and all these other representatives of these religions are not diseased fruit when they are. That's why that's why Kusro Kongo said, you cannot serve two masters. Because then you will become like them, diseased fruit. Okay? Why does the world not see this? Why do people not understand? That's the whole concept. Knowledge makes you puff up. I think I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You don't have to tell me, I know. I have a lot of knowledge, I know. But that can still make you ignorant of the reality that is. Knowledge doesn't make you always smart. There's a people, there's very, a lot of people with college degrees that are ignorant. You're going to be shocked to see how many especially in this next phase when the Most High embarrasses them. This was never the way. Your knowledge was never anything. You were only learning the carnal, not the spiritual. And the spiritual knowledge is where the power is. That's why they didn't want the moon to, to stay connected to Tatanzambi. They stripped their language they beat it out of us. They made us learn their ways. Okay? Here's how you know this is going to blow the whole thing open. Kuswa Congo and Fumo Yusu said, I don't force anybody to follow the Most High's way. But understand when you choose to go against him, then expect him to treat you like Sodom and Gomorrah. So the most High can be the judge in this, okay? But did Josiah say, I will now, at that time, he said, later on, you're going to pay for this down the road. When will you pay? When the most High chooses to Cause your life to be a mess. The decision you make will be your, but see, our spirit never dies. So we could get an opportunity once again, reset, if the most high, oh, he's going to put you in prison. See, there's a spirit, that's why he says, you don't want the spiritual death as well as the physical death. 
That's why he said, don't fear the one that can give you the physical death. Fear the one that can do the physical death and the spiritual death, which is eternal separation from the Father. That's what Satan's kingdom is. Eternal separation from the Father. Okay? The, decep the deception is you have been made to believe your religions or pastors are giving it to you. When the Bible even says, no, they're not. It says so. If you read it carefully, okay? That's why Tatanzami was saying, the world is the way it is, will always be in, this, in chaos and destruction and no peace when you are in the presence of disease, trees, and wicked fruit. So when you choose to believe uncleanliness, masquerading like it's clean, then you will always be led to confusion. You will always be forced to do things that go in wickedness. But then you will say what is, what is wicked is evil, is good, and what is good is wicked. That's why our way became wicked to the heathens. And their way became good, and it was the opposite. But the world has not been made aware of this. What we were doing in the kingdom of Congo was the right way. What they were doing in Europe and all over the other places was not good. Okay? So now... That's why he says, not everyone who says to me, Umfumu, Umfumu, which is master, master, Lord, shall enter into the sanctuary of the realm. That's the seventh heaven. That's why they took that out. The sanctuary of the realm is up in the Pemba Kalunga. That's what the Pemba Kalunga means. Only one who does what pleases Tatanzambi. See, it says, only one who does what pleases. That's why they made it to where when they took us into captivity, everything that we did would displease him. While they think, while they're sitting in church, acting like they pleasing him, they ticking him off. That's one of the reasons why he said the false Messiah will change times and laws. See, because this is how you know Rome did not fear the Most High. Because when they got the control of Christianity, they started putting in their own feast days that did not line up with the Most High's law. And yet people will sit there and tell you that Rome is righteous. Are you serious? Oh, we have the authority to change the law. No, you do not. The Messiah cannot break his father's law. He fulfilled him. He says this. I didn't come to abolish it. You're going to still do it, but now it's been fulfilled. Because my way is the Most High's way. That's why we call him Yeshuay. Because I don't disobey my father. All the rest of you have. Okay? This is the concept of why right now there are still jackals and hyenas everywhere teaching you another way that the Most High did not teach and telling you that it's the right way when they can't know it because their instructors are diseased fruit masquerading like it's clean. That's why Shaitani will always challenge anybody that fits that description. Who are you? Where did you come from? What are you here to do? You're not going to put these people back on the right path. No way. Going to always want to make you suffer and turn your house into turmoil because you want to treat, you want to go back to the source that he has stepped away the path. Okay. 
That's why for the moon to, to know who he is changes the game. Boom. Wait a minute. I was we're watching the movie Till. <laughs> Ready to hit the hit, let me hit it right now. I'm um, you know, Medgar Evers was there, and uh, Dr. King was well aware of these things. What's funny was while they're preaching about God and Jesus in spirit, he's down here in Angola restoring the way to the most high. And the rest of the world didn't even know it, that he came to take back the lamp stem, just like he said he was going to do and put things back in order. That's why Rome said, don't you dare tell nobody that he showed up in 1918. Yeah, so when he showed up, the race war started, the clan started. Man, the, the secret society started creating all kinds of things. You're going to find out. They worked against him. They said, don't you dare let these Negroes know about Toko. We will never be able to control them. That was part of it. If they find out that our day, day Jesus was black, oh boy, it's going to turn the whole world against us because they were living off of the image. Muhammad Ali's father was drawing white Jesuses. The reason why Islam was so controversial is they were saying, no, everybody was black. But they were not like Simon Toko, who was really doing the Most High's way as a Banabetu of Isolele, Bakongo, Benanzambi, bringing us back to the path completely. But they were well aware that he was there. Like Emmett, see, Emmett, Till, that man, these sacrificial lamb things, okay. You're going to be shocked to see they do this a lot. Now, I know what he went through was horrible. A lot of people, they, they used to set people on fire back then. They used to do all kind of things to people. Okay? You, had, you were literally, I mean, when he watched the movie, the minute he says something wrong to the white woman, oh, she going for the gun. Boom, they got to get out of there. Oh, we, we about to die. That's how serious we treated the white woman as like a goddess. That's why Dr. Zami said, and this woman at that time was wicked, yo. Lied up on the stand and everything. Oh, he did this, he did that. Okay? All the meanwhile, Tatanzami was fighting for the way of his people. While they're sitting up in their churches praying to God and Jesus, Lord, help me to hope, all this other stuff. Kuso Congo, this, the Holy Spirit was down here. And the devil was, ooh, fighting. Don't you dare. And then we send the angels down. If they find out the Most High sent Maliki Congo into the Congo, <laughs> you know what would have happened in the U.S. then? Hello? The Most High did what? He fought against the white people? Then whose side is he on? That would have crushed the whole deal. And this is why you don't understand. Shaitani, that's how he challenges. I don't recognize this guy no more. Okay? And this is how they turned it on us. 
to do the same, to make us the sacrificial lambs that for those that knew it. We destroying the we destroying the sheep. And they were mocking, they were all the stuff that they did in America and around the world was to mock Simon Tor and Kimban. But when they came and said, we're going to be back on top. Oh, heck no. We're going to kill all every last one of y'all. They tried. You want a bit? They, woo. Let me tell you, it ain't never stopped. And they're going to take a, this is why you got so many black people right now in the streets, hooked on drugs, uh, getting raped, um, doing all kind of wickedness, being exploited in the name of Jesus. Okay? When the Messiah was down here in spirit, putting back the rails, this is where you need to go. And they tried to kill every... They tried to lynch. They, they did lynch and burn his followers. That's why they don't they're gonna tell you, no, no, nigga. That's that's when the, remember when the, 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 I'm gonna say it just like how they would have said back then. Like they're gonna tell you now when the white church is now. Oh, they said that there'll be false gods and false spirits. Why? Why? Because who do they see hanging on that cross? Or who do they see that Rome puts out there? in the images or who do they see they don't even know that's the disease that was given to Cain when he killed Abel that their ancestors got it a long time ago and that's why they hate black people and they were used by the same gods that the black people worship that they went out there and created them and turned them against the most high and his people Spiritual seed of Cain, just like the days of Noah. They created the days of Noah themselves. That's why you can't tell them that. No, you created the days of Noah. But they hid the giants and everything. They hid all the other stuff from you, the technology and whatever, to say, oh, yeah, you guys created everything. That's what they wanted to do. Everything comes from us. And the fallen angels and everybody else sitting in the back door, shh, don't tell them where it came from. It came from us, but shh. And it came from Tatanzami. We stole it from Tatanzami. Shh. Excuse me. Okay? That's how they did this. Because the reality now is you were the upside down. We were the right side up, but we your, we were all black and your answers were black and they messed up and they got to be the ones that got changed. Okay? So now you have to come through the Bantu people to get back to the Most High because of your ancestors. But they have modified these teachings. No, no, everybody, everybody, everybody. Because Esau is a liar. He knows this. He said, no. You already in the wide gate that leads to destruction in all religions. You're already in it. That's why all roads lead to Rome. And Rome leads back to Babylon. Okay. And therefore, your fruit remains diseased. That's why I try to tell Banabetu, we didn't used to get sick. Like how you see people out here getting sick, man. No, they lying to you. We didn't have all of these illnesses and all this stuff. And when we got it, we knew how to treat it the right way. But they convinced us we were wrong. Going by the alchemist, that, that wicked dude, Hermes, they still listen to him. But shh, no, we're we doing this. Oh, yeah, the more the Messiah listened, working with, with him. 
I said, oh man, he already knew the knowledge from Tatan Zombie on how to heal. Why would he have to go to an Anunnaki? Go sit down somewhere with this. The Most High Tatan Zombie knows all the mysteries. Why would he go to an imposter to get the truth? Get up out of here. That would make him unholy because that's what that God was. No way. You're talking about the sorcerer dude talking to that guy. He was the one studying that. Okay? You're going to, people, I'm telling you people, those are the people that listen to the wolf and the hyena taking you back to that scar God. And I'm, he, he, his time has ended. Everybody goes back to that joker right now. His image is everywhere and you don't even see it. He was dark. He became white. He got leprosy. That's the reason why the Messiah's image was changed from dark to white. Because he is the image of the beast. Connected to Cain and all that. Because Nimrod is the beast. And he's connected to Esau. Okay? So yeah, the sun god, Helios Christos, is the beast. <laughs> and that's Satan's image. Because he didn't want to be like the Most High no more. All right? So like I say, I'll pray. Kemba, hallelujah. The world is upside down. The seed of Cain runs it in spirit, because that's what they are. They have this, they have the spiritual, they literally have the souls of the Canaanites, of, the, of Cain, and don't know it. The ones who died in the flood and everything. The most high don't put the, his soul in them. This is a lie. That's why he go and, and, and prove it. I can prove this in the Bible. If you people say, I don't believe that. Jeremiah. Tell your pastor to read this scripture again to you. Lamelia 50. I can prove to you. You got the name of your gods in here too. The word of Tatanzami speak against Babylon, against the land of Chaldea by Lamelia the prophet. Declare ye among the nations in public and set up a standard. Publish and conceal. That's why I put up the Congo flag, by the way. <laughs> Babylon is taken. B-E-L is confounded. All they did was add an extra L and make you ring it now. Marduk is broken in pieces. You got her. Those images are back. <laughs> her idols are confounded and her images are broken into pieces. This is Libertas. They just changed the name. This is the Roman god Libertas. Yeah. Go look it up. I can tell you right now, you go Google this image. Let me pull it up. Let me see if they'll show me. Because you know, they, they're always listening. So they say, no, change it, change it, change it. Let me see. So these are these are them. See, and this is how you know that they look, they know you're looking. Because <laughs> you see her, not him. So technically, let's see.
Because when you put in her image, this is the same. Okay? They, they slick, boy. They know when you go looking for it, they're going to change it up on you. It's broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there cometh a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein, shall remove and depart and beast. Now this happened when it was located in Sinar, and uh, after they had been kicked out of Africa from the original. So that's where um, Nebuchadnezzar ruled from, and that's why I heard <laughs> it was funny because. I heard Biden say Iraq when he said Putin is losing control of Iraq. I'm like, that's code word for this right here. Because that's where the the other the Nineveh got moved to. And they, let me tell you what happened. The root the Russians, their ancestors attacked ancient Babylon. So now when you hear America talking about Russia, they know the history, that they're the ones that took down Babylon when Tatanzami sent them. So he used them in the past to destroy Babylon. That's why people want to talk about what Russia is. It don't mean Russia ain't the snake, okay? It just means he used them, or the, rept or the, or the dragon, he used them for this. Okay, now they know America is the new Babylon. So, and Russia technically, well, the way they have the globe and where it really is, they are technically north of them when you go across the Emerald City. <laughs> what they say is the North Pole. Okay. So then... We move out of the midst of Babylon, go forth out of the land of Chaldea, and be as the ghost before the flock. That's why the Zombie said it's time to what? What did I say the word flee means? To get rid, you gotta keep you gotta break that yoke and do this. Kutina. But it was um it was another word I said. Uh, I can't remember now. There's another word that means get out of here. I forget. I have to pull up the Kikongo Bible, but if you remember, and if you wrote it down, it, it, the word flee. Um, that's what Exodus it really means. Flee. Get up out. Okay. So now, and I'm almost done. I gotta get to work here. You know, and then I'm gonna get to that sound, like I said. Now he says, now watch this. He solely is a scattered sheep. See, we're scattered then too, right? The lions have driven him away. First, the king of Assyria, yep. And then Nebuchadnezzar, broken bones. Joke us up. They're redoing it. That's what they said. Who they saying is Nebuchadnezzar or, or, or even uh, what your name? What they calling Trump? <laughs> uh, the, uh, the king uh, uh, Cyrus. Sound the battle in his land. And it says where he talks about Slay all the bullocks, let them go down to the slaughter, woe unto them, for their day has come, the time for their visitation. So it can say, the voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare and sign the vengeance of Tatanzami, the vengeance of his Itempele, call together the archers against Babylon. Now, this is what's going on with um, Russia, China, Taiwan, what is it, uh, Russia, Korea, Taiwan, the Middle East, 
all these this is what these this is even what's happening with Africa that are joining Russia because this is why they and this is why they're dumping the dollar. And it talks about how her let me see. It says your children, uh, the children that, that that you bore. That's why she always hates the Most High because they don't tell you her name for a reason. This is Lilith. <laughs> this is her. She bore all these children, okay, and cut the zombie, destroyed it. So she, so that's why when we left King Congo and went back. This is why they took every revenge that they possibly could think of against us and treated us like, whoa, you saw what they do. And they did it for years. And they kept doing it. They just didn't realize that their people would have a bleeding heart. Okay? Because the Most High moved them to say, hey, you see what they're doing? But they hid the identity so you wouldn't know who you were having compassion for. Okay, and that's why they were angry with the people who loved us because you is it you stupid? Your mother is over there, the statue, and you crying for these people who their God beat the you know what of us for generations? Are you crazy? Do you know what their God did to us? But they can't tell you that because you're supposed to be worshiping him, you're supposed to be talking to him. That's why they would get mad at white people for loving us. They said, how dare you turn on, because they're the what, they were, what they were trying to tell you is how dare you turn on your mother for them when their father tore us up for years. You don't even know. But they're keeping the secret. It's like, how can you love the Bantu people when the Bantu people, God, beat the living ooh out of us? and destroyed your ancestors like crazy. What are you talking about? This is how you know the Most High Spirit was, uh, was out on all flesh, was coming out on all flesh. After what happened with Emmett Till and you know, stuff like that, they were moved. Whoa, wait a minute. What's going on with this stuff? Shocking them. But see, the Most High's law had started to penetrate their hearts But they didn't know who they were crying for and having to help. See, and that's why they would get the riches because the blessings were there because they covered it up. Oh, now you're going to help your kubi, we get blessings. Yeah. That's how they know when Tatanzami regathers the sheep, all the blessings go poof that they, that they didn't tell you how they got it. That the only reason why America and Russia and all these other nations have overwhelming wealth is because of the scattered sheep. And that's the thing. You know, so Tatan Zambi is, is making it clear the harlot that he is referring to was the mother of all of the nations that worship pagan gods. That's why Isaiah got ticked off when the churches started sacrificing to idols. What are you doing? Well, guess what? You are doing it again. That's why he, he came in spirit, to, you know, the Tanzani sent Kusra Congo to Mayamona. Hey, get these people back on track. Oh, no, don't let him do that. The dragon will always challenge. But he will not overcome the Most High because he has nothing to do with the Most High. The Most High's way will always travail over his, but he don't just sit there and say, oh, cool, I'm stepping aside here. Yep, I'm moving. No, you embarrass me, I'm coming. For yours. <laughs> okay? That's why you see these people now like they lost their mind. 
going out here shaking the body and going crazy and doing some really woohoo in Hollywood and the entertainment industry. He went after us using this. And the people talking about the women that was twerking, right? You're not the our brother did a, a video on that. That's a that's our Bantu dance that used to talk to the Malikis. They they take everything about what we did as Muntu and they have perverted it. Like even the samba. Now it's just a dance and doing the samba when that meant prayer. Mocking us as the sambo, 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 the sambos, prayer. Okay. I told you, they were, I was doing I saw, I saw the, 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 the stanky leg, these people were doing it in Angola or, or the Congo singing. Dun, 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 roll with the mind, and they move this way like this. They did this a lot because the people that know the truth have exploited everything because they hate the most high. That's how you know if the world really feared Tatanzambi they would put his people where they belong. Now, that's why Yusuf said, I will make them. Dr. Zaman said, I will make them. They ain't got no choice. How does that start? I'm going to get the imposter out of the way. No more is it going to be, what you call them? I said the hyenas and the wolves in sheep clothing eating my sheep. Devouring them. They're going to be safe. Like he says, I'm going to provide the safe haven. They're going to be protected. They're going to be watched over by shepherds that want them to be safe. That don't want them to be taken to the wolves. And I'm putting an end to the wolf. You see? See there? Cut off the sower from Babylon and him that handled the sickle in the time of harvest, the fear of oppressing the sword, they shall turn everyone to his people, and they shall all free everyone to his own land. So now, this is the concept of when the, the Messiah talked about the harvest season at the end. This is how you know Babylon had to start and Babylon had to finish. Because it was always about this with Babylon and the, and, the, and the idols. So you had to have Babylon in charge when it was time to bring the harvest. But they disguised it. Mystery. No, you don't know. We don't, you don't see. We, we're in the shadows. Ooh, ooh, you don't see me. We, we're behind the scenes. Don't tell them. They're still talking to the false gods. Their mythology is a bunch of garbage. They're still talking to those gods. They lied. Okay? But you didn't know. No. And that's when they were threatening them. Hey, don't you dare tell them this. Don't you dare. What we're doing back here? We're still doing the sacrifice? No. Shh. Make it look good. Keep up with appearances. Yeah, we got to keep up with the appearances. Everything is about like that. The whole world is designed this way now. Keeping up with the appearance that we're good when we're really bad. Shh. And so that way, there's no way you can go to most high from people like that. No way. Tatan Zombie's like, you people have lost your minds. To think that I will let people do my way. That's out here talking the way they're talking to you when they're making up laws. That have nothing to do with my way. No way. They're making laws up all over the earth. This is how you're going to do this now. And of course, they got to look like they're doing good. In the environment and the community that you live in. Oh, don't don't behave, don't do this, don't do that. But in the back door, hypocrites doing the exact opposite. We the untouchables. Yeah, we the gods. You can't do nothing to us. 
Mm-hmm. I'm telling you people that we're now living in a time, and it's you can see it right now. It's playing out in front of your eyes. Every day there's some I told people there's no peace. It's going to get worse. Every day is going to be, people was talking about, oh, flights got canceled. It, cruel summer is going to continue. It's all people burning up in Texas. Oh, my God. Hurricane tornado. Tornado will be like, boom, boom. Yeah. They lying to you, people. This is, this. they know this is the apocalypse of Abana. But they're going to masquerade it. The NWO is the it, it is Ball's kingdom. Period. The Canaanite gods. It's the it's the NWO. The Canaanite gods, the Egyptian gods, the Hittite gods, the Edomite gods, the Jebusite gods, the Ishmaelite gods, all these gods, India's gods. Uh, all these guys they've been worshiping, that's the NWO. The NWO is everybody who's against King Kong in spirit and in truth. They're not in his spirit or his truth. And they masquerading like they are. That's why Kuzma Kong said, hey, there's some false prophets out there that they look like they are with me. But they are trying to eat you up. The, like I said, the hyenas are still in the pride land. The wolves are still knocking at the door for the sheep. And that's not going to stop till we, they, the most I get rid of their leader, the alpha male. We know who that is, the Omega, the, their Omega. Okay, it went too long, but anyway, Sambalolo Zola Kwingi, you know, where's the Yabe Kongu Kutwala? And like I said, you know, uh, we're going to talk about Psalm, this, and this is what you got to understand. This is what people need to realize Psalm 139. O Tatanzambi, Suninanini, thou hast searched me and known me. So the Most High knows every one of his people. Thou knowest my down-sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compass my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. So he knows everything you're doing. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, Tatan Zombie, thou knowest altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. That's why the most high knowledge, you can, if anybody in a church is telling you, they say, I know God, or I know the most high. This is the, this is the proof they've been lying to people for a long time. Even Davidi, Solomon, Davidi is saying, your heart, look at that knowledge you got. I cannot even attain it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I free from thy presence? Never can you escape the Most High. Nobody can. I, if I ascend up unto the Zulu, heaven, thou art there. Yep. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art, thou art there. So what is he telling you? The Most High's presence can be felt in hell. They know he's there. They're breathing. He's always breathing down their neck, people. <laughs> if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, even there shall thou ha thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yes, the darkness hideth not from me, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. That's why when he breaks and he you see him, he will be the only light in the sky. 
you can't run at all. You not, you can't go nowhere. That's why they're going to try to say, hide us from the wind and sit upon the throne. Hide where? He's going to see where you're at. <laughs> you can't run. I will praise thee, for thou hast possessed my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. So like I said, there is no way, like the song said, nowhere to run to, baby. Because you know the bit. Nowhere to hide. Yeah. At this point, when the Most High come down and he said, go, you can't hide. Ready or not, that's what the song say. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. Yeah. King Kongo say, hey, ready or not, here I come. That's what he about to give hide and seek. Okay. The counting, the countdown, count. One, two, I'm coming to find you. So as soon as the Most High countdown hits zero to where he knows, ready or not, I'm coming. And you can't hide. I'm gonna find you. Those of you who devout who, who devoured my children are gonna pay. It's gonna happen, people. They don't know they did it, but they have been. Anybody that's not teaching you the most high's way in spirit and in truth is a liar. And the truth is not in them. They say them they, they say they know the most high and don't do what he says then the truth is not in him. I'm doing, I'm being obedient right here. I'm, I'm coming out here being a watchman, showing you this thing. I'm explaining to you, you know, I may not always get it perfect every time, but I'm working hard to do my best to fight. But I'm not trying to bring you to the wolves. Okay? I'm not trying to, I'm trying to point them out. I am showing you, okay? Tatanzambi and Pungu Telenda Akongo Yave, the most high of truth who brought us out of the way of Ngipiti, he's going to do it again. And this time, he will be Moses. He ain't going to send, he ain't just going to be sending you Sire and every, no, he's coming to show the Pharaoh, now you see me. You see, now you know this God? You say all this time you don't know this God? You don't know me? Okay, I'm right here. Now what? That's what's going to happen. You say you didn't know me? Now you're going to know me. You're going to see who the God is. That's what's going to be the, the big deal, people. That the zombie's like, now you think you didn't know who I was? Now you're going to see me. You're going to see me. And who I am. And you're going to know who the, who the God is. Okay? Ingeta, Samuel Zola Quingi. 